Howdy Rillis, 400 pound gorilla here today and I want to talk to you today a little bit about knife happiness. I am holding right here the Enlon L05 wood handled version and this is a knife that typically you can get on Gearbest for between uh, 750 and 850. Um, when I bought it I think it was less than eight bucks. Um, nothing remarkable about it. The overall length is 7.8 inches. The blade length itself is about uh, three and a third and uh, the blade steel is your typical 8CR 13 MOV. So what has me excited about this knife? When I got it and I pulled it out of the packet, um, I wasn't initially that excited. It was like a eh, typical Enlon San Remu cheap kind of knife. Um, you know, it didn't seem to have any remarkable qualities. Um, the, the wood on it, if you can see that, is kind of a very rustic. Um, I mean, it has some type of stain, but it, you know, in, the, in essence, it doesn't look like it's varnished or has a high level of finish out. You can, I don't know if you can see on the uh, lanyard hole, there's even like some roughness left, a little kind of, you can see like a little, I don't want to call it a splinter, but you know, um, thread piece hanging off in there. Um, but in general, very um, rustic is the best word I can think of. It, it, it has kind of a, um, a nothing remarkable finish about it. And, um, but here's what I've come to discover over the month or so that I've owned this knife. I like it. Um, the clip the retention on the clip is such that uh, you know it slides into my pocket easily. I've had I've been fighting with a couple other recent new purchases where it's a real struggle to get the clip to go over the lip of the trouser pant, you know, and slip into the pocket. This thing slides in real easily. It stays down. It's uh, one position, uh, tip down, right side carry. Um, you know, this has dual thumb studs. Blade centering probably isn't uh, perfect. It looks like there's a bias towards the presentation side. If you can see that, hopefully you can. Hopefully this thing's coming in focus. Um, stainless steel liners, um, open pillar construction. Um, but you know, here's the thing. When I sit around and I kind of decide what knife I want to carry for the day, this has been winning out a lot. It's nothing remarkable about it. It's a less than ten dollar knife. I've got knives that are, you know, easily fifty, sixty, seventy dollars in my collection, but I enjoy this one, and I'm not worried about anything that could go wrong with it. I'm not worried about if I have to use it on something that's uh, sticky or gunky, um, and you know, it makes me happy to just kind of play with it a little bit. It's uh, you know, fun to flick out. Um, I don't know what else you can ask for in a $10 knife. I mean, you know, I'm not doing it well on camera, but for the most part, it's pretty easy to flick out when I'm concentrating on that and not on holding a camera. And uh, it brings me a little bit of pleasure when I'm carrying this knife or looking at this knife. And there's nothing really remarkable about it. And that's, that's one of those funny things. I have, you know, knives that have a lot more fun or interesting characteristics, but I take pleasure in this one, and sometimes, for inexplicable reasons, the simplest things are sometimes the better things. So this is the 400-pound gorilla, out.